Lily's Hearts here. Just wanted to talk about my day. Um, a little bit. Well, actually, it was kind of pretty cool. Um, I really impressed my, um, pharmacology teacher. My professor for pharmacology. And because there was a question of, like, pathologicals that, like, what pathologicals, what pathologicals she, you could come up with. And she thought of, like, just, like, more common ones, like, probably, like, anemia, like, dehydration. And I actually used a answer that only, she's used it on other people, that same question. And only three masters actually responded with cancer. Because I was thinking, when I saw the question, and I... It dawned on me, cancer. Because um, I was thinking about how how cancer like takes and by hacks the cell like a hacker with a computer to get more phalatos to grow to to reproduce. And with chemotherapy, you have to basically kind of kill it off. Like you have to kind of kill off the source. That's why um, one of the side effects, adverse effects, is hair loss and your skin is not as as flexible as it as flexible and shiny as it usually is, because it actually takes from the flatos to basically get the energy so they can be the way they are, and by killing it off, you actually kind of need to um you have those adverse effects and i said basically said that it it messes with the functionality by it enters into the cell and messes with the functionality of the cell and like a hacker like a hacker and hacks the cell to take nutrients to like to take take from the cell that it, it already invaded and she was like wow she was really impressed like she was dang impressed <laughs> like she even like told me like after class um actually Dolores you actually answered in a way that I have do the that question before and only three masters have ever told me that one and they were masters you are the first ever to basically tell me without even a master's degree. I have um, what you consider, here it's called a licentura, or a bachelor's degree. In the States it's a bachelor's degree, but here it's a licentura. And she said like, maestria, or a master's degree. And yeah, and that was pretty awesome. That was actually pretty awesome. Um, yeah. I also, um, on break, got to see my old embryology professor. Pretty cool. We had a cool chat, like a quick one, and he, scared, he surprised me a little bit because I didn't see him, notice he was coming. And then he opens the door of, of um, a la cinco, or classroom five. And then I got surprised. Like, go! Oh. Like, I jumped, and when I saw him, it was like, I like I said hola like hi like here like as a friendship you kiss on the cheek I kiss him on the cheek it, it's kind of cultural kind of thing it's not like inappropriate it's actually everybody does it if you have a relationship that's friendship they do that all the time and here it's kind of a thing <laughs> um I got you had to get used to it because I'm not used to that but because you all in the US you do do that like, we do do that, but we only do it with really, really close people and family. And, yeah. Um, but now I'm used to it. It doesn't bother me. Um, then I went to... To physiology. Um, we talked about how the potential... The mechanisms of um, the membrana's potential potential energy and it in we were talking more in 
the diffusion aspect. Yesterday we were more in what it's rest or repose. And in my last class of surgery, we were talking about the history. Like how did surgery become to be? Like from the Egyptian times to uh, Greek and Roman, it was awesome. Because I personally love, um, and at Aztec, my focus has always been Egyptian, Greek, and Roman, and Aztec. So I love listening to the history. Because I, as an anthropologist, I actually took a lot of history courses. So it made me really happy that we were talking about history. And yeah, later. And yeah.